Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics, and today I want to talk to you about how to. I want to talk to you about your dreams and your goals and your desires, but more importantly, I want to talk to you about how you can navigate your relationships and conversations about your dreams, goals, desires, passions, because very often what we see is that when we're when someone has um, an idea a really good idea it's very difficult for them to articulate it to others and sometimes when they try to what happens is um, especially when it's around friends or family people they're close with the friends and family can't see the vision completely and the person who's saying it, because the vision is so grand and so deep within them, they can't articulate it in a way that the other people can see it. And the only true way that they'll ever understand is for you to simply do it and then experience it for themselves. Right? And but so what I'm here trying to do today is give you um, some strategies or one in particular uh, on how to go about your your conversations where you can still be very open about the fact that you're working on some project but not going into so much detail that you that you kind of alienate other people or incur unneeded unwanted and unhelpful criticism from others and um the book that I'm going to use to assist me is one of my favorite writing books of all time. It's called Page After Page by Heather Sellers. And it's an amazing book. So phenomenal. Um, and you'll probably hear me quote it um, in other videos. But one of the biggest things that she says, for especially for writers who are starting out, is... <clears throat> your task in all this is to learn how to be with other writers because writers are communal but don't do not talk about your work most successful writers simply say I have a new project I'm working on that's it shut up say no more and then she ends her <clears throat> this section by saying input equals public output equals private meaning that when you're going to look for ideas and inspiration and energy for that thing that you're working on go out meet people talk with people interact with them face to face but when you're going when you're going to actually work on your project and you're putting stuff on the page or you're putting stuff together or you're whatever it might be that's when you shut your mouth and you have it all come from your private internal side where you where all of your creativity and and um you, you know your your mental juices are flowing so to speak so um this applies not only to writing though this applies to every aspect of life Particularly though, like I said, things that things that you're really passionate about, but maybe you're just getting into. An established writer, an established actor, um, they don't, or, or whatever it is that, that you know, whatever career choice that they may be trying to go down, uh, video game maker, architect, they don't have to sell anybody on the idea that they're an architect or that they're uh, uh, an actor because they've already been established but for those who are going for a new goal they have a vision and it's something that they haven't really done before they're not established it takes time for the outside our friends our family our colleagues to truly embrace that to truly consume it and understand what that means to them and how they fit into this new paradigm that you've created. Now, 
the funny thing is, it's actually more easy for people who've never met you before to see you for the first time in that role. Because they don't know, they have, they're coming from a clean slate. But for, 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 this is particularly a problem with close friends and family because they've already put you in a box. And, and not, not out of hate or anything like that, but that's, that's how you fit in their lives. That's how they have meaning with you. And so that box is very important to them. And when you come to them with these new ideas, with these, um, you know, it may sound like crazy talk to them because they're like, wait, who is this person? They want to they wanna act now. They want to um, spend all of their free time um, working on video games and building a video game or building an app for some new company. Like, it just sounds so foreign to them based on what they knew before. And so you kind of ease them into it, right? So part of it is, you know, knowing and gauging when the appropriate time is to, to broach the subject. And then the other thing is, um, to like, like Heather Seller says in her book, not to go into too much detail, right? All the details of the project and, and the things that you're doing, you're building a, a social media platform or, or whatever it might be, a, most of your friends and close family aren't going to understand that. And, and then B, a lot of them aren't going to care. So if you say it in such a way where you're like, yeah, you know, I'm working on a new book because I want to publish later on this year. Um, I think it's a good opportunity for growth. That's about all you have to say. And, and now they're like, okay, it puts a little, it's a little stepping stone in their mind okay Josh is trying or whoever not not me anybody is trying out some new endeavor right but when you start saying you know I'm going to and some people do this they say like, I'm gonna quit my job and move to Mexico and write all these books and I'm going to travel the world and I mean those may be your long-term plans or you know whatever but they sound crazy to an outsider so keep the details to yourself focus on when you go out to meet people focus on what they can give to you and what value you add to them but don't talk too much about um all the details and and, and things like that because then you just start to pontificate and blue that you're blithering on it's just it's it's no fun for anybody. So, I hope that has been helpful. And um, and if you'd like to see more, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. But until next time, take it easy.